स्टूडेंट्स जय हिंद वंदे मातरम वन सेकेंड वेलकम बैक टू योर क्लास रवि सर जी मैथ्स द इजीएस्ट एंड फाइनेस्ट वे टू लर्न द कॉन्सेप्ट्स ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स स्टूडेंट्स इन आर प्रीवियस वीडियो लेक्चर वी हैव लर्न द बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट्स ऑफ इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ कोऑर्डिनेट ज्योमेट्री इन दैट वीडियो लेक्शन वी हैव लर्न अबाउट कार्टेजियन प्लेन कार्टेजियन सिस्टम अबाउट ओरिजिन अबाउट एफशीशा ऑर्डिनेट एंड हाउ टू फ्लोट द पॉइंट ऑन द ग्राफ स्टूडेंट्स on the basis of those concepts we will practice today few questions and uh, in this video lesson we have included three three different types of questions all these three questions are interlinked with each other students before starting today video lesson if you are new to this channel just subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon okay students the today's in today video lesson the uh, questions are locate the following points on the graph second question is write the position of the point on the graph and third one is write the coordinate of the following point all these three questions are interlinked with each other so to solve these problems and to know about these questions you should clear the basic concepts of coordinate geometry students let us remind all these things we know that a vertical line and horizontal line intersect each other that point is origin the point where these lines are intersect at perpendicular angle that point is what origin this horizontal line is known as x axis and vertical line is known as x y axis the plane in this way the plane is divided into four part the first part is first quadrant this is second quadrant this is third quadrant and this is fourth quadrant right student in first quadrant the coordinate of the point in the form of plus x plus y means the component of element of x will be plus and the element of y will be plus in second quadrant the coordinate in the form of minus x and plus y in third quadrant both will be negative in fourth quadrant x will be positive and y will be negative okay student here we have given that locate the following point on the graph what you have to do locate this point on the graph okay so first of all draw the um, cartesian plane over here so drawing the cartesian plane this is a vertical line and this is a horizontal line right students where these point, these lines intersecting is known as origin left uh, right to the origin all are positive integers on number line right and left uh, left to the origin all are negative integers minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 minus 6 here we can extend too much so x and x dash and the vertical line uh, upper half upper half plane of horizontal line the uh, point on the y axis will be positive 1 2 3 4 5 6 this is y and uh, in lower half plane negative integers on the y axis minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 minus 6 this is y dash right students now we have to locate all these point on this graph now the first one is what 4 and 5 here you can see that the x is positive and the value of y is also positive so positive a point having both are positive coordinates so it will lies in the what first quadrant so x is 4 and y is 5 x is 4 and y is 5 right students x is 4 and y is 5 x is 4 and y is 5 so you can locate here 4 and 5 right x is minus 1 and y is 0 x is minus 1 x is minus 1 and y is 0 so nothing you will have to move upward or downward so the coordinate of this point will be what minus 1 and 0 this point lies on what x axis this point lies on x axis minus 4 minus 2 means the value of x is negative and the value of y is negative in which quadrant 
third quadrant. So this point will lies in third quadrant. So minus x, minus 4 and minus 2. Minus 2 and minus 4. So you can locate this one minus 4 and minus 2. Right? 3, 7. Again both are plus. It lies in the first quadrant. X is 3, Y is 7. X is 3 and Y is 7. Suppose Y is 7 over here. X is 3 and Y is 7. So we can locate 3 and 7. Right? X is minus 6 and Y is minus 1. X is minus 6. So X is minus 6, Y is minus 1. So this will be again in the third quadrant. So minus 6 and minus 1 x is minus 2 y is 4 means x is minus and y is plus so x is minus in second quadrant and y is plus in second quadrant right so minus 2 and 4 lies in second quadrant minus 2 this is minus 2 x and y is 4 so minus 2 and 4 okay student now x is plus y is minus x is plus and y is minus so x is plus and y is minus so this lies in which quadrant fourth quadrant 4 and minus 1 x is 7 y is 0 x is 7 y is 0 so it lies on x axis x is 7 y is 0 means 7 and 0 okay x is 5 y is 3 both are positive it lies in first quadrant x is 5 y is 3 x is 5 and y is 3 so this is 5 and 3 okay student now moving to the second question write the position of the following point in the graph x is 4 y is 0 x is 4 means x is 4 this will positive and there is 0 so x is 4 there will be on x axis it lies on x axis or on ray ox on ray ox minus 2 minus 3 and plus 2 means you will have to see negative and positive negative and positive in second quadrant so you can write second quadrant lies in second quadrant or you can write what lies in in the interior part of y o x dash y o x dash ok x is plus y is minus x is plus y is minus this is in the four, fifth, uh, fourth quadrant this is lies on fourth quadrant or you can write lies in the interior part of x o y dash angle x o y dash Okay, student. Now 0 and minus 6. X is 0. Y is minus 6. X is 0. Y is minus 6. Means lower half plane of uh, the uh, x axis. So lo in lower half plane x axis means there will be it will lies on y axis. You can write it lies on y axis or it lies on the ray O Y dash. O Y this both are negative means the value of x is negative and the value of y is negative so from here value of x is negative y is negative means it lies in third quadrant it lies in third quadrant or you can write it lies in x dash o y the interior part of x dash o y means lies in the interior angle of x o y dash x dash o y dash Okay, students, now moving to the next question, question number 6, 0 and 7, 0 and 7, means x is 0 and y is 7, so 7 is positive, so again it lies on y axis, lies on y axis or you can write it lies on ray o y, ray, it lies on ray o y, right? 3, 2, both are positive. So, in first quadrant, the value of x will be positive and the value of y is also positive. So, it lies in 
फर्स्ट क्वाड्रेंट और इन द इंटीरियर पार्ट ऑफ एंगल ओ वाई ओ एक्स वाई ओ एक्स जीरो माइनस फोर एक्स इज जीरो वाई इज माइनस फोर सो इट लाइज लाइज ऑन वाई एक्सिस और रे ओ वाई डैस माइनस फोर वाई आर राइट माइनस फोर एक्स इज जीरो वाई इज माइनस फोर सो इट लाइज ऑन वाई एक्सिस और ऑन रे ओ वाई डैस जीरो एंड सिक्स अगेन एक्स इज जीरो वाई इज सिक्स इट लाइज ऑन वाई एक्सिस और ओ वाई रे वाई एक्सिस और ओ वाई रे नाउ थ्री एंड माइनस टू एक्स इज पॉजिटिव एंड वाई इज निगेटिव सो इन एक्स इज पॉजिटिव वाई इज निगेटिव इन फोर कॉडर एंड so you can write this is lies in fourth quadrant or it is lies in the interior angle of x o y dash angle x o y dash right students now we have to locate the coordinate of the given point so let us start with a so here students you can see that For point A, the value of x is a, and the value of y is the value of x is two, and the value of y is two. So the coordinate of A will be what two and two. Now moving to the point B. Point B is on the x-axis, so y will be zero. So the point uh, coordinate of B will be phi and zero. Now moving to the point C, the value of x is six and the value of y is minus two. So here is six and minus two, right? Now moving to the point D, the value of x is three and the value of y is minus four. So three and minus four, right? This is D. Then moving to the E, the value of x is minus four and the value of y is one. So we will write minus four and one. Moving to the point F, the value of x is minus six and the value of y is three. The coordinate of F will be what? Minus six and three. Okay. Then moving to the point G, the value of x is minus three and the value of y is minus two. So this will be minus three and minus two. Moving to the point H, the value of x is minus five and the value of y is minus four. So this will be minus five and minus four. Now moving to the point I, what is I? The value of x is seven and the value of y is four. So writing the coordinate point uh, seven and four. Right? Now. The last point is what about z? What is the coordinate of z? The well, this is lies on the o y y axis. This is lying on y axis, and uh, so we can write the coordinate point of j will be what x is zero and but y is minus five. Okay, students. Here we are completing today video lesson. For more video lesson of this chapter, keep watching your channel Ravi Sarji Maths. Thank you once again for watching this video till the end